So it's starting to get cold in northern part of the U.S. and people are starting to ask me where to up for a getaway spot to backpack in the winter and actually two people have just recently asked me about Big Ben so this would be a long video if I told you every place I thought was a good place to backpack in the winter get away from the snowbank but today I'll talk about Big Ben so I've hiked in Big Ben every month from October to May and I've been there when it's just uncomfortably cold been there when it's uncomfortably hot so it's a crapshoot especially if you have to plan ahead so you hope you hit a happy medium there someplace and the main area for backpacking is the Chisos Mountains everybody wants to do the outer loop which is fine um, but if you have enough time I think most people make it too short a trip you're gonna put a lot of logistics into flying out there getting transportation a hundred miles down into that remote park and uh, so spend you know as much time as you can and my suggestion would be to spend more time in the Chisos mountains a lot of people just get up to like boot spring get their water drop down to the outer loop and go around and come back up on the other side but really the Chisos is the primo place to be hiking out there and uh, lots of critters you almost guarantee you'll see bears a lot of people see mountain lions everybody but me I've missed them there though uh, many times just missed them so don't be surprised to see that you'll see warning signs as you hike in there but my suggestion would be to go up there for a couple of days two three days base camp you know day hike around or there's lots of campgrounds you could move around every day to a different campsite but then drop down and do the outer loop and hopefully you've cached some water down there and my other suggestion would be as far as water caching if you don't have a high clearance vehicle to reach some of those spots is go to the Rio Grande Village Visitor Center and talk to the Rangers there their volunteer uh, RV people that live across the street at the ranger facility and they do a lot of the uh, backcountry patrolling and a lot of them will be glad to uh, cash water for you if you ask real nice. Hello. Hello. Hi. Beautiful bay. Super yes. beautiful. Have a good one. Also, while you're there, there's tons of great day hiking. And you'll have a vehicle, most likely, because you're probably going to fly in and drive down there. It's a long way down. And so you could spend several days exploring the park. Beautiful park. Beautiful place to hike. You can go over into Mexico, into Boquillas, do that for sure. Uh, you leave from a Rio Grande uh, village area, uh, across the the uh, river and there's restaurants over there and just a great experience if you go down there and you don't do that you've missed one of the highlights of the whole trip but there is great backpacking there and uh, again just give yourself enough time so I guess my next winter getaway suggestion would be Arizona I mean I know Arizona real well but Anywhere from Roosevelt Lake to the Mexican border, you can hike all winter long. You know, your only problem could be uh, the Sky Island. So Miller Peak, the Rincons, Catalinas, you know, if you got there and there was just snow or too much snow that you didn't want to deal with, just hike between them. Plenty of beautiful Arizona Trail sections to hike depending on how much time you have and uh, the superstitions so you can go to oh, um, Lost Dutchman State Park camp there it's about two three miles to the trailhead from there park at the trailhead uh, first water and hike into the superstitions you could spend days in there 
you wanted something longer, that's actually to finish and end for the Grand Enchantment Trail. So you could start there and hike the Grand Enchantment Trail for a couple hundred miles. So it goes through the superstitions, hooks up to the Arizona Trail, goes south through one of the most beautiful canyons, Alamo Canyon, the Arizona Trail. And not long after you come out of that, uh, you'd catch the Grand Enchantment Trail again and go east as the Arizona Trail goes south through another beautiful canyon. So, um, you know, there's so many options in Arizona. Uh, those would be my suggestions. And again, like Big Bend, you know, if you have extra time, there's so many neat places to day hike there after you've done a backpacking trip. So, give it some thought. So I just flushed a bald eagle who was sitting in that tree over there, but he saw me long before I saw him. So I'm gonna wait a little bit and see if he comes back. He went up late. But while we're here, I'll talk about the third winter getaway option, the one I might use this year, and that's Florida. Um, you know, the Florida Trail, there's tons of sections you can do on the Florida Trail. Just pick one. And weather-wise, you know, if it's cold, keep going further south until you get to the Everglades. And the Everglades are really cool. So again, when you're not backpacking, leave some time to see some other sites like the Everglades, like the Big Cypress Swamp. You can hike, actually the Florida Trail starts in the Big Cypress Swamp. But really, uh, Ocala National Forest is one of my favorite places to hike. It's, you know, piney woods, um, lots of ticks, lots of fire ants, um, and January, February, March, it can be cold, like every place else. You know, I talked about Big Bend, I talked about Arizona. All these places have cold spells. Last year, Florida was warm, I think above average temps. Even up in Ocala, uh, it was in the 80s most of the winter. So you never know, you just gotta take what you get. But again, that has to do with your layering system to take the same thing every time and it covers all the bases. You don't have to worry about the weather, but Florida gives you a lot more options because you can go way south and usually get a much better weather normally. And, you know, just study your sections, figure out how many miles you want to do and pick a nice section. You know, you probably don't want to hike the Florida Trail through Orlando, but there's a lot of wild parts of Florida. I, you know, everybody asks me, why do you go to Florida? There's a billion people down there. Well, I like the wild parts of Florida. Where I'm at, I don't run into that many people. Lots of critters. So that's kind of top of my list this winter. I've been going to Arizona, but I'm probably going to go to Florida and Maybe do the Florida Trail, maybe section hike, I don't know. Keep smiling. God, I hate this. <laughs> I saw a bald eagle, I'm sitting here waiting for him. And I'm doing some filming. And just as I shut the camera off, three peregrine falcons flew right by here. My camera's off. They should have like, I mean this GoPro, it's such a wide angle, you wouldn't have seen them anyway, but they flew right past me here and by the time I got the camera on they're a mile down the lake I hate that <laughs>